guys, give it up for the cocktail servers that are serving you here tonight. They're working very hard. It's a tough job. Please take care of them. I know, I actually tried cocktail serving once for seven and a half years. And I didn't, I didn't love it because um, because people get a little self-unaware when they drink. You know, when I was working in the bar, people, drunk people were always asking me for drink recommendations. Like, what should I drink? <laughs> what shots should I take? What should I drink, drink? I'm like, why are you melting? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rihanna. <laughs> what should I drink, 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 drink? <laughs> Tell me what to drink, drink. <laughs> Like, you don't need a drink at all anymore. <laughs> you need to go home and record an album. <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> for, uh, for some reason, you guys, when I was cocktail serving, I got asked to do more than one threesome. I think I got like a strong, like, a la carte vibe. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't look like I would be good on my own, but, like, maybe. <laughs> In addition to something else, and just fine. Like, I don't really get offended by that. I was a little confused once, because this guy was giving me this whole sales pitch of, like, why I should hook up with him and his wife. I mean, I don't do this, by the way, either. It's not like I'm like, oh, ask me about the threesome special. Like, I, I wasn't putting that out there. But he's like, I think my wife would really be into your beautiful personality. I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's how sex works. I don't know. <laughs> I think he thought like my serving skills were gonna transfer over to the bedroom, you know? Like I'd be like, you guys doing okay in here? <laughs> Is everybody equally stimulated? <laughs> Sir, you still working on that? You want me to get that ass out the way for ya? <laughs> Ready for another round? <laughs> I'm just like, what happened with this couple's last group sex situation to where his wife was like, you get me someone with a better personality next time. <laughs> yeah, I like the other girl physically, but she just wasn't very social. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Game of Thrones after. And uh, you know how I, rem I told you guys that women are auditory creatures? Because we can hear stuff you didn't say. Well, like what I heard when he said that was like, hey lady that I don't know. Physically, eh. But your quick wit is really making up for those subpar titties. Why don't you come hook up with me and my wife? <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves as a server is when people would flag me over but then they weren't ready to order. You guys. I'd be like, excuse me, can we get some service over here? Hello? And then I'd go over there, I'm like, yeah, because I was a professional. <laughs> and they're like, we don't know what to get. What do you think we should get? We didn't, we didn't look at what to get. I'm like, have you tried the fuck out? <laughs> It's really good this time of now. Get out. <laughs> we had like a lot of celebrities come in the bar that I worked in. Uh, I worked in a hotel. And Suge Knight was one of our regulars. Uh, yeah, it was fun. And uh, he, do you guys know who Suge Knight is? Clap if you know who Suge Knight is. <laughs> he didn't clap. Don't respond, I'm kidding, okay. <laughs> He's like this big gangster like, record producer guy. I don't know what he does. He just wears red shirts. Um, but he'd always come in the bar and like ask for stuff that we didn't have. Like I think he was just always looking for an excuse to like hang someone over the balcony. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he'd be like, I want some mac and cheese. I'm like, we don't have mac and cheese, Shug. So he's like, okay. I want a root beer float. <laughs> I'm like, well, I want Tupac to be alive. We can always <laughs> get what we want. <laughs>